first off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity, and peace, blessings and healings unto the elect. And uh, this is the third time I'm trying to do this video. Let's see if I can bang it out this time without it messing up. And um, today I want to get this article. Cool, weird, and scary. Skies over Niger's capital died blood red as massive sandstorm in Gulf City. So I'm going to play a little bit of this. Then I'm going to get some scriptures. <laughs> Dos de la tarde en Niamey, Niger, tormenta de arena, válgame. Dos de la tarde, hace 20 minutos había un solazo. Wow. Dude, this is kind of cool, kind of weird, kind of scary. So as you can see, he said this is kind of weird and kind of scary because he had Bush and Messiah's return, it's going to be a day of darkness and not a day of light. You know, this is... Joel 2 and 30. I will show wonders in heavens and in earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And you know, this is um, this is one of the wonders, wonders in the heavens. The sky blood red, crimson red. Because a lot of blood about to be spilled, you know what I'm saying? You have Bashar Mashah going to slay a lot of people. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. You know, um, you just had a pink moon not too long ago, but in Italy it looked red. You know what I'm saying? And that's where um, Yahweh got crucified, who people eagerly call Jesus Christ. He was crucified in Italy. That's where Rome is. Yeah. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh Shemashah shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahweh Shemeshah have said, and in the remnant whom Yahweh Shemeshah shall call. So, it's only a remnant that's going to be saved from the said perils that are coming. You know, it's not going to be that many people. You know, you got the elect, you got the 144,000, 144,000, and then you got the multitude. So, you know, comparing that to 8 billion people on the earth is not that many people. But, um, you know, these are just signs of the times, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I want to move on. I got this other article. America has become the land of the snitches during this coronavirus pandemic. And, uh, you know, I want to read a little bit of this and then I'm going to get some scriptures. For those that wondered if Americans would be willing to report on their neighbors on a widespread basis during the major crisis, you now have your answer. All over the country, calls have been pouring into authorities from concerned citizens that are quite eager to point a finger at their neighbors for violating the coronavirus lockdowns. In fact, it has been reported that some very nosy people in the state of California were actually calling 911 to report that their neighbors were coughing inside of their homes. Of course, the mainstream media is not exactly helping matters when they use the phrases such as death sentence to describe this pandemic. And I want to get a scripture. This is Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You know, these Americans, they're waxing colder and colder because, you know, iniquity is increasing. So people are just worried about themselves now. They're not worried about anybody else. You know what I'm saying? And that's the that's the mind state of an American to be selfish. You know, it's been it's been bred and bred into these Americans to be that way. You know, you got the internet. I mean, you got YouTube and Instagram selfies. Yeah, people are lover of themselves. They're not. They don't have love for anybody else. And I'm gonna get that. Um, This is 2 Timothy 3 and 2. 
For men shall be lovers of their old selves, covetousness, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitorous, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. And, uh, and that's an that's an American. And I want to I want to read one. This known also that in the last days perils perilous times shall come. You know so and then it names off all these. That's why the love of many is waxing cold because you know these people are very selfish. Yeah, they only care about themselves. You know, and this that's America for you. So this is not really a something to be shocked over but um i want to get some scriptures because you know especially in these end times with uh when they make the vaccine mandatory they make the rfid chip mandatory the people that's going to be your worst enemies are going to be the people of your own household so you got these people they're telling on complete strangers just imagine when they make this vaccine mandatory in this um RFID chip mandatory and one of their family members don't want to take it. See how fast they switch up on their ass. Yeah. And it's even going to be like that in the truth. Brothers in the truth. Brothers in the truth going to flip too. But um, this is Matthew 10 and uh, 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And you know, we're coming into those times that we got to implement this 100%. You know, you got to be got to be wise, but you also got to be harmless as a dove. You got to be wise as a serpent. You got to, you know, move out here you know, correctly. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they shall scourge you in their synagogues, and ye sh and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. <laughs> For the testimony against them and the Gentiles, but when they deliver you up, take no thought of how what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same time, in the same hour. It be given you in that same hour what you shall speak, for it is not you that speak, but the spirit of your father would speak it for you. So, you know when these dudes come get us, and you know they're gonna they're gonna get some of us they're not gonna get all of us but when they whoever they do get you know you have so much house gonna speak for you so that's a beautiful thing to hear and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death yeah and i just wanted to get a scripture uh it's galatians uh This is Galatians 2 and 4. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we had in Hamashiach Yahushai, that they may bring us into bondage. Yeah, so, you know, um, it's even some brothers in the truth. That's going to flip like Judas did, but it's just their lot. And it is what it is. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. You know, when they make this vaccine mandatory and uh, this RFID chip mandatory and Esau be scaring brothers and picking up brothers saying, we, we make you an offer you can't refuse. You know, brothers gonna flip. You know, brothers flip. Brother versus brother flip even in the world when they are out there doing wickedness. They telling each other so quick it ain't even funny. You know, that's why you got to keep your integrity to the end, you know. Um, that's why I says work on your own salvation because, you know, you can't really trust anybody out here. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. You know, Christians think that, um, you know, uh, 
they're going to escape for seven years and not endure the famine, the pestilence, you know, the great evils that's coming. But they're very they're very wrong because it says he that endures unto the end shall be saved. So you're going to have to endure everything that Yahweh Messiah said that you was going to have to endure. Or what this world was going to have to endure. You're going to have to make it through all that to be called up. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man comes. So, you know, when they persecute you in one city, just flee to the next. You know, the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant, nor the servant above his lord. Because, you know, Yahweh had to move place to place, you know, when the Romans was coming after him and... You know, the same thing today, when they make all this stuff mandatory, you're going to have to move from city to city trying to escape the said perils. You know, this is a uh, second Ezra 16 and 40. Oh, my people hear my word, make you ready for thy battle. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. You know, so what's that saying where, um, where I lay my hats, my home. So, you know, you especially in the end you, you can't get comfortable because you know the angels are going to direct you to move here move there do this do that you know and you just got to do it and uh, i'm gonna go down this is matthew 10 and 34 think not that i come to send peace on earth I come not to send peace, but a sword. And you see, all this was written in red. This is Yahweh speaking. He didn't come to bring peace. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And the man's foes shall be they of his own household. Yeah. So your own household going to be against you in these times. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Yeah. And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. So if you don't do what Yahweh Shemesh I commanded you to do, you're not worthy. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Yeah. Because even if you do die on the side, you still, you're going to get, um, you're still going to be with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that, ye may, that you may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, you know, you even got to be faithful unto death, even if you have a Messiah deems it's your lot to be killed on this side, because you're still going to be called up if you truly believe and if you're truly chosen. And I want to get that. Um, this is second. This is first Thessalonians 4 and 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout. With the voice of the archangel. With the trump of Yahweh. And the dead in Yahweh shall, shall rise first. Then we which then we which are alive and remain shall be called caught up together with them in the clouds. So. You know, when, even if you die on the side in the coming, you know, perils, um, you know, you're already going to be on the chariots and you're going to be awaiting your brothers that get caught up before them nuclear bombs hit. To meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So, you know, um, we shouldn't fear Esau and even if he does kill us, you know, we, we got to fear him that killed the body and the soul. I think that's in 28. This is Matthew 10 and 28. And fear none of them which kill the body, but are able to kill the soul. And fear and fear not which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And that's your how about your shot. So don't fear Esau if he, even if he does kill you, you know what I'm saying? Because he can't kill your soul. Yeah, only yeah, how it can do that. But um, you know that's all I want to get.
you know, I did this video three times. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Lord will, I ain't got to do it another time. But uh, double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me the truth. And call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahach, Kodash.